John here guys and today I'm finally finished the build of my Hyperlite Glide. Ooh, I love this thing. Um, I have decided to go with as many components that I've seen on the Kebab channel since this is his frame design as I possibly could. So I am using the Furling ESC that was sold by Pyro a while back. That's an Airbot ESC. I'm using the Heli Nation Talon F4. I have it mounted at the front in the kebab fashion. This is the Cadix Rattel with the 1.8 lens. Now I know kebab struggled with some issues with the camera cutting out on him, but I think he may have had reviewer's curse and early pre-production model. I've not had any of those issues on this so far. I'm also using the AKK FX3 BTX. That's something that I prefer to use. Um, and then I'm using a Foxier Lollipop um, antenna. I'm using the CL Racing um, LED race wire. Uh, that's very, very cool. And I decided to go 4S on this build because until very recently, Kebab has been all about 4S and I wanted to use some motors that have been featured on the channel at some point. So these are the 2207 ZMX. Uh, these are the Finex 30 and they are, I believe it's a very high KV. It's like 26 or 2700 KV. Um, and so these should deliver, well they do deliver quite a bit of power. Now on my old, 13 and 1500 milliamp hour 4S packs. Um, these can drain those. And let's know, I'm also running the kebab props. I mean, you can get this build going because of the, the inexpensive price of this frame being only, was it 45 or 50 bucks? You can have a, a sub $300 freestyle build. And if you shop the sales, you can easily have that build under $250. That allows you a great amount of freedom in having the confidence to fly how you want to fly, where you want to fly. So I talked recently about this Marmot with the Ethix motors. This build is going to be coming closer to $400. But the nice thing about having a build like this is that you get, you know, almost all that flight performance. Um, it feels great in the air, it has great motor protection, um, but this will allow you to fly a little bit harder. Why? Because if it breaks, you know you can replace things. They have the replaceable arms. You can get a new top plate or a bottom plate if you need to. Uh, and the cost of the beginning in the beginning was not that much. So I have enjoyed how this thing flies in the air. I have to say, um, I was looking forward to getting a few 4S packs in with a very powerful build to see like, you know, how is it compared to how I remember? And I like success. I like success, guys. Uh, I, it doesn't feel as good to me um, as, as success does but I was still impressed at the ability that I had to perform all the maneuvers that I wanted to. And uh, I do appreciate the way that this is laid out. I mean, I have plenty of room for my cap at the back. You know, I, I found some of these 3D printed parts, like I said in the in frame review. And this is set up with the race wire to be able to swap motors if I need to, to be able to change out um, to, to one of the spare arms that this frame comes with um, so easily. So I think that I'm really, as far as freestyle goes, I'm starting to lean in two different directions. One, if you wanna keep your budget low, if you know you're gonna smash it anyway, go all the way low, under $250 or maybe even under $200. Uh, if you really shop hard. And that's gonna be frames like this or the Source One or other inexpensive frames. If you want to go all the way in, you're gonna be looking at $400. So these, you're really starting to see a difference in price there. And 
so should we think of this as a premium frame? Can we really compare the flight performance? I think it actually compares pretty well. Um, and if I had 6S motors on here, it would probably be even closer. So maybe eventually I'll do another glide build with some 6S components and see how close I can get it to the performance of the Marmot. Uh, I know that Kebab probably won't agree, but I can feel the flight performance of that Marmot. But again, some of that might just be 6S versus 4S. So that's not, that's not really that fair. But uh, let's get to the flight footage. If you're looking for something 50 bucks and under, this is the way to go, guys. The glide. Thank you. 